Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a the start of a very special um, video series uh, where um, I'm going to build an MSX2 computer. Uh, brand new from scratch using an open source project. Um, I'll put the um, link to the GitHub page where you can go and look at the information about this. Um, and the whole idea of this project is, um, unlike some other things, it doesn't use any particularly hard to get custom things. Now there are some chips that are, you know, a little bit harder to get than other things. I'm not saying that everything is um, is completely just off the shelf, uh, but there are components that are readily available. Just sometimes you've got to shop around for stock on some of them. Um, uh, it is made out of two boards, uh, one for the keyboard and one for the main board. Um, and it should be fairly easy to assemble. There are a lot of components on it, of course, um, but they're all through whole stuff. There are no surface mounted uh, soldering required because, I mean, uh, myself, in, I don't think I'd be um, that comfortable with doing that much surface mounted stuff at my level of soldering. Um, and of course, MSX. Um, yeah. Everybody who watches my channel by now should know that I love the MSX. And being able to build a brand new MSX2 computer um, would be um, well both interesting as far as the hobby is concerned, but also the, the actually getting hold of an MSX computer nowadays is, is quite hard and they do cost a bit of money. So you can probably make one of these um, easily for the amount of money that you could buy one nowadays and then it would be, it'd be um, new and made by you. Um, now it, it does have, uh, so MSX2, most of those machines came with um, uh, at least 64 megs of RAM and 128k of video RAM, although at that stage they did usually come with a bit more actual main RAM, either 128 or even 256. Uh, but this particular model will have 512 um, meg of RAM and it will also have 512 meg of flash memory as well. Now, I haven't got as far as uh, looking at um, some of the features that are enhanced um, once you've built it, but we'll discover that together as we go through the project. So I said, I'll be building one myself. So I've got a set of boards here. So they are very well labelled, but as you can see, there are a lot of components that we've got to put on there. Uh, one of the hardest things, I mean, I've had a lot of the components for a little while. One of the things that took the most time to get were some of the sockets because um, you mainly order them from China um, and because of COVID um, and virus the basically the freight has taken ages on some some arrived like individually and badly wrapped so I had to order some more uh, but I have plenty of sockets and things um, I still may be missing some components so um, I'll need to check that as we go through um, I'll just show you the other side so this is the main board that's the bit we'll probably be building first and then a lot less components, but it's got a lot of keys on it. This is the circuit board for the keyboard. So it's only got a couple of logic chips and components at the top, and the rest are obviously where all the keys and um, there's some LEDs and stuff like that on there as well. And the idea is that when it's finished, so that by the way, there's the cartridge slots up there. You sit, um, you put some legs on the end, and they sit stacked like this. And then you could put it into, you know, quite a um, small size case. And there is actually files there to print a 3D case um, in two halves, top and bottom. Um, so I will be doing that. I don't personally own a 3D printer, but I have a couple of local friends who I will um, coerce into um, printing me one up for me at some stage. So um, I do want to get this done, so uh, we will progress through it. Um, I will video all of my activities as I'm soldering and then edit it together into episodes, probably uh, with voiceover, so you can we can tell what we're doing. Otherwise, obviously, I need to concentrate when I'm soldering, so I'll just have the video camera going all the time um, with decent lighting, um, and then edit that into sections for you guys to watch. So, um, in this introductory one, um, I thought we'd get right into it. We'll just put a couple of simple components on the board. First thing we need to do is just obviously double check this board uh, make sure it's got no scratches on it. Um, you just give it a wipe down with alcoholic um, wipe just to make sure it's clean and my dirty fingers haven't got all over the bits. So we'll do that. We'll put, uh, there's one diode to put on, only the one diode. And um, we'll do a couple of um, banks of resistors just to get started and give you a taste. And so I can 
get back into doing my soldering skills. Um, and um, yeah, I'll add some, as I've been nattering on now, I'll add some links and some information to things. So hope you guys enjoy following along with this. Obviously, um, a bit of time will go past. I'll try and get the episodes out on a reasonably regular basis in between my other videos that I like to put out. So it's not going to take over my channel. Um, but I definitely want to get there. I'm most interested in getting this done and complete. All right. Let's go get set up in my electronics area and start putting it together. Right, so here we go with the build. So first I clean the board with some isopropic alcohol and we get out our diodes. There is only the one diode to put on the main board. And there's three others to go on the keyboard board later. So most important here is look at the um, symbol on the board and match the line on the diode up with the symbol. Um, moving quickly on here to resistors 16 to 22 which is 4.7k ohms. Now this is my initial session putting them in just using my fingers to bend the pins. Um, as you can see I'm having a little difficulty because the, um, the actual hull tolerances on these are very close together so you need to bend the wires right close to the end of the resistor. When we, um, I, so this session I did that, next session when I also get my upgraded light as well, so it's a little, the light's not too bad, but it's a little yellow. Um, I got went and got a different coloured light for the next section. So this is just putting a bunch of the resistors in place, ready to go, to solder them in a batch. And it's best not getting too carried away and putting too many components on, but these are you know, similar, but um, in a bunch. So we'll flip in a second to having a go at soldering these. So I've got them all there. Zoom in a little bit. I'll fix the place bit in a second. There you go. So just my first cup of test solders. I have my, oh, on my bench, I have my uh, proper tip cleaning uh, coils. You need to make sure you get rid of the excess solder off your soldering iron. Really good set of um, cutters for cutting off the legs. And it's making sure your iron's at the right temperature. And I said this is the first time I've soldered for probably six months. I've been a bit busy doing other things and haven't been back to it so I get better as we go through this. So this first slot, I'm a little rough. So this is just me having a look at things. I didn't quite get the um, line up right. Can be hard leaning over the um, camera stand sometimes. And this illustrates of don't try and do too many too close together because some of the legs get in the way. It's probably best doing say three or four that are in slightly different locations, flipping them over soldering okay so there's our first bunch of resistors in I'll just do a couple more now here's the next session I just decided to, this is my next session I've only included the one bit in here but I wanted to show you the better lighting so it's better color and that I started using the pliers for bending the resistors. As you can see, bending the resistor right close to the end allows it to be pushed in a lot easier. So I keep on doing that. So there are, I mean, this is a pretty big build. There are a lot of components. Um, so it's not to be taken lightly as an assembly project, but at the end of the day, it is all fairly simple and obvious um, soldering. Now here, I was actually having trouble finding where the last couple went. I did find them much later. And we're going to solder on those last couple that I put on.
just cut off the ends, I'm saving all of these parts. Alright, that's enough for this episode and I'll catch you next time.